Good evening folks. Um, <clears throat> what you see here before you tonight is a plans for an indexing attachment or dividing head for the Myford ML7. I've had these plans for a number of months now and um, I've intentions to actually make this item for my lathe. However, uh, these plans would have been part of a kit which you would have purchased at one time uh, and you would have bought the castings and um, bored the, you know, the relative and drilled the holes and tapped the holes and done all the relative and cutting operations to the castings before assembling the final um, apparatus. Now, the castings are no longer available but um, there's a chap on YouTube called Double Boost. He does a lot of uh, castings, and uh, I've watched him uh, work through the the process of building um, and casting, and then machining all the parts he needs to create this dividing head. And I'd like to give it a go, <clears throat> but I don't. I just don't have the time right now. I don't have a furnace and I don't have all the tools required that I require to do all the, the machining operations. Although the acquisition of my um, um, call it attachment or call it head for the lathe is a big step forward. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still blocked with a cold. So, um, it's September now. I'd still haven't got the, the generator fixed in the garage so I don't have any light or, or electric or you know to power the lathe so this isn't going to happen this winter okay I've got too much on I've got the generator to fix I've got the, um, the pedestal drill to reassemble I've got a carpenter's chest that I'm still working on I've got a bathroom that needs to be renovated I've, I'm doing 10 hour days and um, I'm buggered by the time I get home at night. All I'll do is sit down and watch a telly. Okay? But as the winter draws in and the n nights grow short or a uh, longer, I might <coughs> do a little um, exercise and redraw all these um, parts on the computer in 2D uh, with a, a mind to redrawing them in 3D now the problem with that is time okay I, I don't have a lot of time available uh, the second problem with it is I'm not sure if my 2D software is still uh, functional and my 3D software, uh, while I think SketchUp is a great application uh, for certain purposes, uh, i.e. drawing a architecture or, or architectural objects from castles all the way down to furniture, uh, I don't think it particularly it 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 car <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I don't think it's a particularly good choice for a uh, smaller items a uh, c and it doesn't really cope with some of the smaller dimensions very well so um <sighs> having said all that if I can track down a, the software that I would like to use to draw this there's there's no more than than, than a day's day's drawing in this at the most you know you, I could rattle this out at one time in probably a few hours you know there's a, there's a fair bit of drawing here remember but a lot of it could be copied and pasted yeah um, for instance the base here 
that looks to be very similar to this part so some parts of that could be just cut or copied rather than redraw them all well and then you know, obviously maybe edited somewhat items like this draw that in two minutes you know so there's, there's not a lot of work in this you know at a glance you think oh it's complicated but it really isn't um, looking at it from a a technical uh, viewpoint as in um, how, how, how to draw these parts there's very little um, there's, there's, there's nothing here that I can really see of, of any difficulty you know there, there's it's all straight lines radiuses straight lines radiuses circles a little bit of, bit of hidden detail um, no, there's, there's nothing here that's complicated to draw. Um, you know, all your sizes are given. You don't really have to work out anything. Um, <clears throat> and thread. Ang you know the angles of the thread. You need to identify the thread and maybe find out what the the angle for that particular thread is and what the pitch of that thread is. It'll be given somewhere, I'm sure, on the drawing. Um, that is likely to be the same thread as on the the Myford ML7 Arbor, so that you can use the same chuck or a a chuck. Um, with the same thread as what you would use on the ML7. So, yeah. Hey, I don't know if I'll get time or get right, ever get around to doing this, folks, like I said, but this is not something that I would find particularly difficult to do, given the time. And it's something I quite enjoy doing, so there's a wee hint for you. All right, folks, hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye for now. Catch you again soon.